Over the past few years, South Africa has been hit by a number of water shortages. With COVID-19 in the country, household usage of water has gone up because of the amount of times we have to wash our hands. Now consumers are able to monitor their water consumptions in rands and cents using smart uh, prepaid meters. Now these smart meters will also enable municipalities a host of uh, new features to better manage water just by having near real-time meter readings. But to tell us more, we joined, in st- we joined, joined via Skype by Edwin Smith the CEO of Lesira Tech. And uh, Mr. Sbia, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Simpiwe, and good morning to your viewers. Now, take us through how people can monitor the usage of water through the Lesira customer smartphone application. Uh, well, what sort of information will they be able to access through this app? I think before I even start there, maybe we should take one step back and try to make the viewers understand where is our water, how is our water consumed within a country? If you look at the breakdown of the water consumption sector, we have agriculture consuming 62%. And this is based on the study which was conducted in 2015. And then you've got the consumer and the urban news sitting at about 27%. And obviously the industry taking the, 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 the last cut of 11%. Now, you take such information and you say, how do we compare to the world? Now, if you look at the world data, agriculture is sitting at 70%. And domestic use and urban use is sitting at 8%. And industry at 22%. Now, if you compare that 8% to the 27% that South Africa is consuming, it's a very high number of consumption that is sitting there, which obviously con- explains a lot of things. Like you've mentioned now earlier on to say COVID-19 has taken a toll on the uh, consumption of water. If you look at the study, they say by opening up a tap and and running water for a minute, there's a six liter of water that is being used. Now, if we are required to wash our hands for 20 seconds, then it means we are using two liters per wash. If you take the population of South Africa, that is at nearly 60 million, and you say to yourself, let's say two thirds of the population wash their hands five times a day. Now, two thirds will translate to about 40 million users. Washing their hands five times a day, it then translates to the usage of water of two, let's say for example, they go once, it's 400 million, uh, 40 million liters that has been used. And then if you require them to go five times a day, then it means the consumption of 400 million liters per day. You take that figure and you say, if it's been translated to monthly, we're looking at about a jump of about 12 billion liters on a monthly base. But that is when you're using the running tear. But what we've noticed as a company, which was quite a leg, is especially in areas where you don't have services or informal settlement areas where people rely on tanks. And obviously those are the people that find themselves in a position where they can't even afford to buy a sanitizer sample. They rely mm-hmm. on tanks, which the Minister of Water and Sanitation emphasized that people must get the tanks. But what we've noticed is that they get installed and the government has been doing a great job on that. But one of the biggest or oh, a challenge that is sitting there is when do we know when the tank run dry? Yeah. And it's been the biggest problem. Now, we've taken an advantage of the fourth industrial revolution and came up with a technology that when you put inside the tank, it will notify the authority when the, the tank is empty. It will notify the authority when the tank needs a refill. It will also notify the authority when a tampering is about to happen, especially when someone tries to open up the lid, because we don't want any water uh, contamination. But most importantly is also from the auditing point of view, the municipality or the authority needs to know how many times did the tank get filled so that the the proper uh, uh, invoicing can take place from that point of view. Now, Mr. Sbia, so, uh, 
just to, uh, I, I, I need to come in there. We don't have much time, unfortunately. The consumers can see their consumptions in rands and cents using uh, the smart prepaid meters. Take us through what this means. Does that mean that uh, um, I can actually see what I've used and what I'm expected to pay, and it's not just in liters, and the readings are not just in liters? Yes. And, 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 and this is a very, very important thing. So if you take a look at the application that is on the screen now, so the, the, the biggest problem that we're facing is that people, the, the municipalities are owed a lot of money. And the reason for that is people cannot manage their consumption on a nearly real-time basis. We always get a surprise bill at the end of the month. So if I, I, I put aside to say I'm going to use 300 rands worth of water, and by the end of the month, I get a bill of a thousand. I'm over by seven hundred rands. But yeah. with a system that we provide on this on, 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 on the market, which is for which is in line with the fourth industrial revolution, on a daily basis, you get updates of your consumption. And the plea that I'm gonna make with the government is that please help us not to use more than what we can afford. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I'm saying that is that if, for example, I am given a bill of a thousand and I only had 300 rent, then I'm sitting with two things. The, the debt to the municipality will always grow. The, the high consumption I've used more than I wanted to use. But if I had a prepaid system, then I had to put in only 300 rent. I will constantly monitor that consumption. Okay. But most importantly, is this, the system also give you a projection to say, with the water that you have, how many days it will last you so that you can properly Budget for that. Mr. Adrian Spear, Seba Makulba, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. Well, that was Edwin Sibia talking to us about monitoring water usage through smart meters as well as the Lysira Tech smartphone app.